Picture this. You're doing push-ups, crushing your first few reps. But somewhere around rep 12, your muscles basically throw in the towel and say, nah, we're done here. What's going on? Are your muscles just being dramatic? Or is there actual science behind this betrayal? Most people blame lactic acid or running out of energy. But here's the plot twist. These factors alone don't actually account for muscle fatigue. There's another sneaky culprit, and it's all about your muscle's ability to respond to signals from your brain. Think of it like your brain trying to text your muscles, but the signal keeps getting weaker. Your brain sends signals to your muscles in fractions of a second through cells called motor neurons. The motor neuron and muscle cell don't actually touch. They're separated by a tiny gap. On one side, the motor neuron is loaded with a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. On the other side, your muscle cell has charged particles called ions, potassium chilling inside, sodium partying outside. Unlike you last weekend, these ions actually know when to stop partying and get back to work. When your brain decides it's time to flex, the motor neuron releases acetylcholine, telling the muscle cell membrane to open its doors. Sodium rushes in, potassium flows out, creating an action potential. Fancy talk for electrical signal that tells your muscle to do something. This signal spreads through the muscle cell like gossip in a small town, stimulating the release of stored calcium. This calcium flood makes your muscle contract by letting proteins lock together and pull toward each other. The energy comes from ATP, which also cleans up afterward by pumping ions back where they belong. Here's what happens every contraction. ATP gets used up. Lactate gets generated, and those ions start drifting away from the muscle cell membrane. You'd think the problem would be running out of ATP, right? Wrong! Even when your muscles are destroyed, they're still cranking out more ATP like little energy factories. And that lactate everyone loves to blame? Plot twist. It's actually not waste at all. Lactate is an anaerobic fuel source your body uses for energy. Less athletic people use it less efficiently, so more builds up, which led early scientists to think it was waste. Fit people burn through lactate more efficiently as fuel. So what's the real villain? After repeated contractions, there just aren't enough potassium, sodium, or calcium ions around the muscle cell membrane to reset the system. Even if your brain sends the signal, your muscle cell can't generate the action potential needed to contract. Your muscles didn't run out of fuel, they lost their ability to receive instructions. Kinda like you when someone tries to explain proper form. But here's the thing. If you want your muscles to actually get better at this whole ion management game, you need to train them consistently. And that's where jump rope comes in clutch. Pairs perfectly with calisthenics routines, or whatever strength routine you have. I've been using cross rope because it's basically ion depletion training without the joint destruction. Light rope trains your fast twitch fibers to be more efficient. Heavy rope makes your slow twitch fibers work harder. Basically, you're teaching your muscle cells to be less dramatic about running out of juice. Plus, if you live in a shoebox apartment, their ropeless version won't destroy your ceiling fan. Link below. Those depleted ions aren't gone forever. Your body has plenty floating around elsewhere. They just need time to get back to where the action is. But sure, blame it on not drinking enough pre-workout or whatever you tell yourself. This is why rest works. When you pause between reps, ions flow back and fatigue fades. The more regularly you exercise, the longer it takes for ion depletion to happen. Stronger people need fewer nerve signal cycles to do the same movement. Fewer cycles means slower depletion, so you can keep going longer. Plus, bigger muscles come with bigger ATP stores and better waste management. So next time someone drops that motivational quote at the gym, and hey, now you know that pain is just weakness leaving the body. It's technically wrong. It's actually just ions leaving the building. But that doesn't sound nearly as motivational. Speaking of motivational quotes, here's one that's actually true. You don't need it until you try it. That's cross rope for me. 60 days to prove me wrong, but spoiler alert. You won't want to go back to whatever you were doing before. Use code GRAVGEAR for 15% off because apparently I can get you a better deal than motivational quotes can get you results.